Wexford were cleaned out kickouts wise against Dublin. This is Brendan Doyle, not noted for the point scoring. Indeed, he went for Ford and Ling is onto it quickly. Ling with the goal for Wexford. Well, they hadn't been put bad from the time I was there. GA, there was nothing else that time, only GA. There was no soccer or running or anything like that. It was all GA, like soccer was banned. And we, we played GA. And in the schools and going home from school and any time we had was we were kicking the ball around the place. First memory I have of the J is me um, going to a, a cool camp kind of thing down in Horswood on the back of the motorbike. I don't know if I wanted to go or not but I was going and that was it. Um, it was even the hurling one. It wasn't even football but I got me started in the GA and uh, never looked back after that. You have to go to far side of the county, two or three nights a week, playing with the county and with the club, and only up the road, you know, to the house, playing tennis, I suppose, around the park. Um, I suppose the team culture then would be um, when you're with Ram Terrain, it's like, it's kind of more relaxed, just playing with the county team, like, if you don't, if you don't train, if you don't perform, then someone else will be on to tell you. When I started the referee, you had to be an inter-county player, or after winning an adult competition, county championship with your club. So I achieved both of them in 65 and I started to referee then. Well, in the first couple of days I refereed, I lived in Kilbride, uh, probably 11 miles from Gusran. So I run from Kilbride to Gusran and I refereed the first match, played in the second match, and ran home. But after the second day, the district secretary said to me, he said, you'd want to learn the rule to be refereeing at inter-county level. And I was looking at him, because if I had to run to Kilkenny, I wouldn't be able to do a horror refereeing. But anyway, he said, John Malik will give you the book, and you can have a look at it, and he'll, uh, he can get back to him again. John Malik was the head of the referees in the county at the time. So John gave me the book and I read it for the week and the next Sunday I went to Bushland to referee a match again and John was there and he came on at half time and he said, and the referee now, he said, I want to have advice for you, he said, do you see that lope parked in the ditch there? He said, when you were refereeing a, a match, he said, that was the bit of controversy and always keep nearer to that spot in the ditch, he said. And he said, when the road break out, get out there. <laughs> so I gave him back the book <laughs> and I kept that in mind all my life that I always kept it near as I could to the, to the main entrance to get away. Every day of the week there was someone playing a match, you know, under 12, under 14 and under, and under 18 going. I remember the day we were, we were at a match with um, Johnny was playing over 40 for Wexford and uh, whatever happened in the in tackle, he, he broke his finger and the bone came out through the top of it. He came over to the sideline to myself and Jody and asked us to get some lollipop sticks for him so that he could uh, he could tape it up and play on. So we were running around the car park looking for lollipop sticks and Johnny was playing the match with his finger hanging off. And he played away anyway. I don't remember if you won or not though. But um, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting anyway. If every player on every county team got 200 euros a week for the season, the gates of the one All Ireland final would probably up. Jay have plenty of money. They made 78 million euros profit last year. It's funny, it was in the news there. They were giving out about the county, the county team going over budget and costing so much. But they were able to make 78 million euros profit. So mm -hmm. players should get some of it, I think. But I don't think the the country is big enough. There's not enough people in the in the country to support 32 teams or 64 teams. Place for the love of the game. The two trophies here are for the same match. It was the qualifier against Down up in Crow Park. Crow Park flooded that day. And we were after playing the match anyway. I'm sure I just didn't think any dip different. Like I just played the match. Like I didn't think it was after playing well or bad or anything. We were just talking inside, and then um, the captain kind of gathered us around, and he he kind of said a few words and an encouragement and all for the next day. And then this fella came in and grabbed me by the arm, and he said, um, "I have a bit of crystal for you." I didn't know what he was talking about, sure, I didn't have a clue. He was pulling the arm and I, I said, right, come out, when he said, come out here, you've got to get the man of the match. I said, right, he said, okay. 
who I'm cancelled today with her microphone. She's only about four foot tall. And she was asking me questions like, how, what do you think of the match today? And she put the microphone up like this. I'm sure all I did was, I repeated what our captain had said two minutes earlier. I wasn't able to think of anything myself. So I, just, <laughs> I, just, I just said what he said. And uh, yeah, they gave me the trophy. And uh, just to show you how interested I was in the trophy. They put the wrong team on, on, the, on the trophy. It actually says Dublin on the trophy, but it was actually against Downs. It looks better that way though again, Dublin. You can tell a Dublin yeah. on a few years yeah. time, you bet the mark was that day. <laughs> and and for them you bet. And that one was for the from the the star newspaper was the same match, the down match, but I have down written on this one, so now I have one one against down and one against Dublin. The one I remember the most was um the only a league match up in Gory with um the three brothers and Johnny was playing the same day. And Johnny even scored a goal that day. I can't remember if we won or lost that match either, but uh, we had um, Kenny Doyle and, and Greg Doyle as well, and, and Brian Rossler was on it as well, which is another cousin, so there was seven of us on the team. Johnny got a goal and a black eye. Johnny's the last of those, actually. He wouldn't be fit for this. 